Physical modeling of musical instruments is based on research into how instruments physically create and propagate sound. That research goes back many years, but until the advent of wide access to high-speed computers, it was mostly theoretical. Research was conducted to gain an understanding of the mechanics of musical instruments, but the only practical applications were to better inform the physical construction of acoustic and mechanical instruments. When computers started to become available to researchers, initially at the university level, this provided an opportunity to try to apply the knowledge of physical systems to artificially creating instrument sounds. I remember back then that involved entering data on computer punch cards and waiting hours or days while early computers crunched the numbers, eventually producing a few notes emulating a real instrument. The trumpet was a subject of one early research project. Research on the physical aspects of musical instrument sound production continued at institutions like Stanford University in California and IRCOM, the prestigious audio research lab in Paris, where mathematical models, algorithms, or formulas were gradually devised to allow ever more powerful computers to create realistic acoustic instrument sounds. A number of approaches were devised. Most people interested in physical modeling instruments have probably heard of Carplus Strong. This is an algorithm devised by two researchers, Kevin Carplus and Alexander Strong, in the early 80s that emulates the mechanics of a vibrating string. It's still used in many modeling instruments. We'll see it in a couple of the ones we'll look at later in the course. The Carplus Strong algorithm, built on a basic subtractive synthesis architecture, specifying a noise source running into a filter. But their filter was used in a recursive feedback loop to produce a dynamic comb filtering effect. Don't worry, this course is not going to dig into the nuts and bolts of modeling algorithms. I just wanted to offer up a little taste of what's going on under the hood. The Carplus Strong algorithm was the predecessor to the physical modeling approach most widely implemented in modern modeling instruments waveguide synthesis. But as I said, since this is a course in the practical applications of physical modeling for musicians and producers, and not a guide to the computer algorithms themselves for programmers, I'm not going to get into the gory details, let alone the actual math and formulas. Instead, the course will focus on the way programming options are presented to the end user in modeling instruments, the overall concepts and layouts of modeled instruments, and the relevant terminology and programming controls which I'll introduce in the video after next. But first, a brief comparison between sample-based instruments and physical modeling instruments in the next video.